Thanks, guys. I'm joined here today by the head football coach of the Benjamin Russell Wildcats and the newest inductee into the Alabama High School Athletic Association Hall of Fame, Danny Horn. Coach, thanks for joining us today. Appreciate it. All right, Coach. Well, before we dive into the interview a little bit, can you just describe what it's like to officially be a member of the Hall of Fame after such a distinguished career so far? Well, it's a you know it's a great honor and, and you know it's a very humbling experience and and um, Alabama High School Athletic Association they do a great job with that. They've uh, I've been there you know several times honoring other uh, inductees, but uh, it, they do a great job. You know it's first class and uh, and uh, you know it's a really uh, humbling experience. Well, before we talk about your your current position as the head coach of the Wildcats, let's take a trip back to memory lane, uh, down memory lane rather, uh, as we, you were the coach of Clay County at, uh, at that point. So could you talk a little bit about uh, what it was like to be the coach there and being on both sides of the Benjamin Russell-Clay County rivalry? Well, um, you know, I graduated from Clay County in, in 1980. I know that's a long time ago, but uh, – and then uh, I coached at uh, Randolph County for five years and then that job came open and I applied and got it. and. Um, you know, and, and Clay County has always been pretty good, but uh, it just they just never had gotten over the hump yet. And finally, in uh, in '92, we we um, we finished second in our uh, area, and then played uh, actually played Randolph County in like the uh, second round, and uh, we we beat them, and and that kind of got it got it going actually in '92, and we made it to the semifinals where uh, Cortland beat us. I mean, uh, Hazelwood beat us. But then that kind of got everybody kind of going. And then in 94, you know, it started a, a three-year run where we won three years in a row and had that 55-game uh, winning streak. And, you know, after that, it just, uh, you know, a winning breeds winning. And, and after that, everybody believed in, in what we was doing. And, you know, it was just a really good year after year. You know, there were several couple years where we went you know, six and six and six and five. But, you know, overall, uh, we had a, a lot of a lot of good teams, and you and you bring up the 55 game win streak, and obviously uh, during that stretch in the 90s, your that team was one of the best in the state, if not nationally. Uh, what do you think, or can you just describe what that was like, rather to to be in a community as tight knit as Ashland and to have that much success and to be able to produce as many wins as you guys did? Well, you know, during the streak, um, really. I didn't know much about it until it got in the 40s, and then uh, somebody even brought it to my attention. Uh, you know, when you're coaching, you, you're not worried about – you're just worried about the next game and trying to be successful. And, and, and uh, you know, looking back now, the, the streak was actually something really special. I, you know, it's uh, – you know, 55 games, and that's hard to, to somebody to beat. But that would be somebody, you know, eventually that will beat it. But uh, – you know, uh, Ashland's a small, little small community, and you know, and and it was just a, a, a great atmosphere. You know, uh, the kids uh, grew up when they was little, wanting to play ball, and and you know, I've had a lot of good players and a lot of good uh, assistant coaches there, and you know, it just uh, all all worked out. Well, you, you bring up having uh, the kids that wanted to grow up to play for Clay County. And if you talk to any of the, the people, at least my age or even a little older, who's had the opportunity to play for you, uh, there's this, you know, like Paul, Paul Brad Bryant or for our younger uh, viewers, Nick Saban type of um, allegiance to you. So can you talk a little bit about your relationship with the players you've had over the years? Well, you know, I'm, I feel like I'm a player's coach. You know, there's, there's you know, some things as you get older – um, that they're not worth fooling with as it was when I was younger, you know. Uh, uh, I guess that's growing old. Um, but, you know, there, of course, you still got your principles that you're going to, you know, that's not going to change. And, and, you know, I expect, uh, you know, players to, to do what's right, you know, and we expect them to, to uh, uh, you know, do what's right in the classroom and out of the classroom. And, and you know, we expect them to, to go 100% and, and, you know, uh, nowadays it's getting tougher and tougher because, uh, you know, kids are, are being raised a little bit different than what they were. You know, we're not quite as uh, mentally and physically tough as, as kids were in the past, and I'm not so sure it's as much them as how they're being raised in, in today's society. But, um, you know, uh, kids going to be kids. You just got to, uh, you know, they let them know what, what they can and can't do, and, and – uh, and go from there. 
And again, we're here with the head football coach of the Benjamin Russell Wildcats, Coach Danny Horn, who was recently inducted into the 2017 class, of the SSA Hall of Fame. And uh, Coach, we were joking a little bit before the interview about me having on my, my Clay County color, so I'm going to try to transition over to the Wildcats a little bit. Uh, when you, you came into Benjamin Russell, the it was a low time for, for the Wildcats and even early on during your tenure, but you were able to get things going, especially once Bryant uh, came along his freshman year and that really kind of elevated the program. But can you talk a little bit about the transition from when you first became the coach at Benjamin Russell to uh, your current time now? Well, um, you know, you know, we, we wasn't too good when you know first game. That, that's no secret. But, you know, you just got to keep believing in what you're doing is right. And, and you know, we, we kept doing the, the same thing, kept uh, trying to get a better work ethic and, you know, better, uh, you know, more physical and, and stronger in the weight room. And, and, you know, over time that it just developed in that. We, Bryant's class is a good group. Uh, uh, that class above Bryant was a good group. And, and uh you know, it just translated, uh, you know, I'm not fool enough to believe that I'm going to go and uh, win with, uh, you know, not good talent. I mean, that's just any coach would tell you, you're as good as your players. And, and um, you know, we developed a, a good relationship with those players. And, and, you know, it developed in having four straight ten, ten win seasons or, or actually more. And, and uh, you know, last year was a little let down. But, uh, you know, I'm already looking forward to this coming year and I think I think we got a chance to be pretty good after having as much success as you did at Clay County what would it mean to be able to bring a championship to Ben Russell in the city of Alexander City well it mean a lot you know for the kids you know I, I've been it's like I told them you know I've been through it I know what it's like and and they just need the experience and then that's why I hate you know uh, with Bryant and them senior year I thought we we had a, a slight chance of doing something and then you know, uh, two years ago when Tyree and them, that class, and we just fell a little short. But, you know, I, I, I want it for the kids. You know, they, they need to experience. And once you experience something like that, you know, it's all about memories. It's all about having, having you know, fond memories when you was playing. And, and you know, I, I hate we haven't uh, delivered that yet. But, you know, we still got a couple more years that hopefully we can deliver one. Absolutely, and uh, as we get ready to wrap things up, um, if you take a look at the, the coaching staff now for the Wildcats, there there's some guys who played on you at Clay County. What has that been like to see these guys grow up and have have their families and being able to coach and be a part of the program that you're now coaching? Oh, it's, it's great, I'm telling you, uh, to look and see, you know, my staff, I got several, like you said, that, that that's played with me and, and, you know, the ones that uh, – that were here when I got here. They've coached with me long enough. Where, you know, I feel like they're part of me too. And uh, you know, it, it's great to see kids, you know, come back. I had a kid come back the other day and and uh, just came up there and just thanked me for for what what I've done. And, and it took five seconds. He just said, "Coach, I want to thank you for all you did." At the time, it was pretty tough. <laughs> But, uh, you know, now I, I realize what you was talking about, and I do appreciate it. And he said, I got to go to work, and he left. And, you know, things like that is, is what makes this worthwhile. I think this is the greatest profession in, in the world because you get to, you know, affect so many kids, in a, hopefully in a positive way. And, you know, it's, um, it's kind of like preachers. You know, sometimes you're going to reach some, and sometimes you're not. But, um, you know, overall, it's, uh, I've, I've loved, loved this profession, and, and – you know, uh, I, I plan on doing it for several more years. Well, this upcoming season will be your 29th season as a football coach, head football coach, six state championships, multiple accolades, as I said, recently inducted into the Hall of Fame. If you could maybe pinpoint something, I, I'm sure there, it's hard to condense that down, but if you could pinpoint something that you could look back over your career up to this point, what would be maybe one of the highlights or a couple of highlights that you'd like to reflect back on? Well, I, I guess, uh, I mean, Winning a state championship is is important. I mean that that's obvious, and and uh, I think really what got us turned around here uh, was when we went to Ufala, uh several years ago and, and beat them for the region championship, and you know and after that we won another one the, the next year, and that was on that, that kind of started the ten win or more seasons that we had. You, know, you got a couple of games that you know you look back and and. I can remember the losses a lot more than the wins, uh, but you know there's there's several key games like that game that I told you earlier back in '92 where you know we had never went past the second round and you know we we beat the team 
they had, had beaten us for the air championship in the second round, and that elevated us to the semifinals. And after that, it kind of jump started, you know. So, you know, you got several games in there that kind of kind of get you going. But you know, looking back, they all you know they all important, and 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 uh, hopefully in the next coming years we'll have some more important ones. Well, uh, I just can remember back when. Uh, the announcement was made that you were going to be the head coach for us and how excited our sports splits team and the, the Wildcat Network, uh, radio network, was about this opportunity. So, Coach, I just want to say congratulations again on the honor of being inducted into the Hall of Fame, and we look forward to seeing what else you're able to, to accomplish here in Alexander City. Well, I appreciate it. And it's, uh, you know, it's a great community, uh, great fan support. I'm, I'm telling you, we'll go on the road, and, and uh, you know, we'll have more fans than, than other teams. It don't matter where we play. And, and uh, you know it's a it's a great atmosphere here, and and hopefully we can uh, continue it and even get better at it. I'm Scott Hardy, and this has been another Sports Blitz Live local look in.